name is Megan Denny, and I was born and raised here in Knoxville, Tennessee. I grew up like a lot of other kids. I went to Farragut from kindergarten through high school. High school is when things started getting really rocky for me. This is when I sought out to experiment with drugs and alcohol. Never in a million years having any idea where it would all lead me. By the time I turned 17, I was going to a doctor that I knew prescribed pain pills. He wrote me Oxycontin that very first visit, along with four other narcotics. I had been searching for ease and comfort inside my own skin ever since I was young when I started feeling like I didn't belong. Immediately after using, I felt this ease and comfort and a sense of belonging. Pain pills were an instant cure-all. By the time I was in my first year of college, it was safe to say that I had a habit. I tried a lot of ways to get clean, treatment centers, detox after detox, doctors, clinics, methadone, and any other plan that I could come up with. Nothing ever worked long term, even in sobriety I was miserable. I remember thinking that this can't be it, that there has to be more to life than this. I caused so much destruction and pain to my family and people that cared about me, I had a hard time living with that too. We lost our children, which is my deepest heart-wrenching regret. I would have easily died for my children, but I couldn't stop using for them. Years passed and it led me to the desperation that I needed in order for the miracle to happen. I will never forget this. A ray of sunshine came through my window just at the same time I was looking into the mirror, unable to recognize the girl that I was. Filled with hatred for myself and my life and who I had become, I wanted to die. That's when I got down on my knees and I let that light touch my face. And before God in prayer, I begged him while I wept to help me. Begging with him, begging with him to either please just let me die or take this addiction from me. Giving up was a critical step for me. God came into my heart that day, and it was not a flash of light and I was better a moment, but hope had come into my heart. It was the beginning of a beautiful journey filled with His grace and mercy. I had been given the gift of desperation, and I was willing to try anything other than this. God set in, into motion a series of events. One of those things was I was taken in handcuffs, humiliated and ashamed, to my OBGYN appointment. This is where I asked my doctor for help. Here I got a referral to Susanna's house. A suggestion, my OBGYN knew I wanted to get better, I just didn't know how to do this, especially being pregnant. It's extremely hard to find anywhere to get treatment when you're pregnant. I remember making lists of treatment places just to mark them off after I called because they didn't accept pregnant women. And the ones that did would only take you if you were clean, and my problem was, like so many others, that I could not get clean. But my OB recommended that because of op opiate addiction is a real thing, your body craves it, your mind craves it, and your, your brain chemistry has changed due to years and years of use and abuse, it was highly recommended that for someone like me, maintenance medications such as Subutex be taken during pregnancy. I was ready and willing to do anything that was suggested to me by people who knew more about this recovery thing than I did. Thank God for Susanna's house and Dr. Susan Webb because this woman has helped me so much.